Welcome back to Tahoe Today. Now I have a confession. There is one place here in Tahoe that I have heard about, know all about, and I've never been to. That is the Thunderbird Lodge. This is the year, guys. I am going to head over there. I'm going to check it out because this is a historic, absolutely gorgeous spot over on the East Shore. My director just said you can even have dinner there. I'm not sure if I can afford that part, but I'm definitely going to shell out for the tour. Take a look at this. This is absolutely gorgeous. How pretty is that? What a magical spot located over on the East Shore. And thank goodness uh, that George Wattel purchased the, that area and that whole beach because he eventually turned it, uh, donated it, I believe, to Nevada and it became a state park. Am I right about that, Rick? No, nope. they actually traded that land for to someone else. It was pretty amazing what they did. They had that land and he traded it to, I forget who, but they did a land swap. It was very cool, but still very cool of the state to do that. Yeah, it would be such a shame if there were just houses all along the East Shore and thankfully there are not. We have a nice big part of the lake that is preserved uh, because George Wattel bought yep. it all up back in the day for pennies on the dollar, yep. no doubt. He was a huge swimmer too. I don't know if you know that. Well, he I know he's a, a huge gambler. Yeah. And uh, well, he had other habits as well. So. Uh, ha, ha. Didn't he collect exotic animals? And the, the place was like, there was like a right? panther right. and a, you know, all these, an eagle and a Vulcan, all this weird stuff that he had hanging out. He was one of those eccentric millionaires. Exactly. Uh, and that we saw in the video, a little clip of a tunnel. And I've always heard that he had a little tunnel that took him from like the living room down to a secret like uh, place where he would play cards with his buddies. Right. So he could That's be exactly at a, right. a, a social function and then just dip away and play hand right. of poker and then come back up. And you said something, there's a little story about a mistress. What's that? Well, I, I guess he had a light there on the, the little beacon light to let someone know whether his other half was home or not. Bad karma. Rude. Watch out for that. Yeah. So rude. Yeah. <laughs> You know what? What goes around comes around. That's what I always say. Uh, unless, you're, unless you're an eccentric billionaire, then there's yeah. no accountability. Then but that's okay. okay. George Wattel. <laughs> <laughs> we love you.